New tonight, a devastating story from Southwest Miami-Dade where two family horses were found slaughtered after being stolen from someone's barn. The owner of those horses spent days looking for them and is heartbroken, saying all he wants is to find those responsible. CBS4's Gabrielle Arzola reports. Both Sammy and War were considered family pets, and I'm told they brought so much joy to anyone that was with them. But that all ended promptly Friday night when somebody stole those horses, slaughtered them, and then dumped their remains into this canal. It's very tragic. It's very tragic. A terrifying feeling and a gruesome sight with one horse head dumped in the middle of a dirt road. Flies surrounding what's left with rope still in the horse's mouth. Owner David Bradley says he's broken with the news. Anybody that can take somebody's horse, kill it, skin it, sell it, you know, they could do that to anything, to anyone. These are more than just horses. They were his beloved pets named Sammy and War. They were rescued from a nearby sanctuary. Family horse rides were all they knew for years. But on Friday night, David says someone cut their gate and took them. My first thought is like, oh, you know, somebody maybe left the gate open. But on Saturday night, this is what Miami-Dade police and FWC find. One horse head and bones thrown in the dense bushes. While we were filming, officials found the other horse head floating in a nearby canal. It's the same thing as going into someone's backyard and taking their dog and eating it, you know, because they think that, you know, they're going to grow wings. It's just, it's nonsense. It's not that uncommon to find horses killed in this area. It's believed in Cuban culture that horse meat has seemingly supernatural properties that heal illnesses like cancer and AIDS. The meat sold in the black market and sources tell me they can go anywhere from $50 a pound. With the loss of his two beloved animals, David says more needs to be done to keep these killers accountable. We're going to find you. You're going to pay for what you did. It's just a matter of time. Investigators are still looking for the suspect or suspects that did this. The reward to find them is $50,000. I'm Gabrielle Orzola, CBS 4 News, tonight.